Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Nkosi, and I created this short video to help you navigate our classroom Blackboard site uh, for Sociology 1S, Principles of Sociology. And you might be able to tell from the raspiness of my voice, but I do have a cold, so I'm going to do my best to uh, make this video very short and clear and concise. Uh, just to help you get a little bit of information on how to maneuver around our Blackboard site, but I don't uh, torture your ears in the process. So when you log into Blackboard, you're going to see a list. Yours might be arranged a little different, but under your My Courses, uh, just, you know, find our class, Social 1S, click on that. And by default, when you log in or click on our class, you're going to land under the Start Here tab, and that's, you know, by design so that you can read all of the information uh, under the Start Here tab and really get an idea of what to expect in Sociology 1S this semester. So this um, video that you're watching right now that I emailed to you is also available under the Start Here tab, and then um, you scroll down, this section right here has a narrative or a written um, yeah, description of a basic overview of the format for our class um, throughout the semester, but also every, every week. Um, so there's a little welcome message, the basic format. Um, this is really important. So each week, students will complete one module which is located under the Weekly Module tab on Blackboard. So if we scroll back up, you look over here to the left under the tabs, and you see an all bold, or excuse me, all capital um, Weekly Modules. And so you click on that tab, then you're going to get redirected. And here you can see Week 1, Getting Started Module. And it's a short week uh, due to the holiday and due to the structure of this class. Um, every Friday at noon, I open up a new folder um, or weekly module, and then you'll complete everything that is in that folder, and I do provide a checklist for every folder, um, as well as, um, you know, I try to provide all of the readings or links to the different activities, but this checklist right here um, is a complete checklist of everything you need to do even if you have to um, go to a different tab or go to a different website, it will be listed right here for exactly what you need to do every single week. So we we'll go back to start here. Um, so every week you're gonna have a weekly module. Uh, like I said, it opens on Fridays at noon and it's due every Thursday by 11.59 p.m. So the Getting Started tab is due this Thursday by 11:59 p.m. Uh, and so make sure that you you know jump on that module right away. And it's basically you know just informate reading the syllabus, reviewing the information in our class blackboard site. There's a couple of short videos, including this one, um, you know, just to help you get some um, information about what to expect this semester. So what is in each module? There's a list here. Uh, we also have a reading, a weekly reading journal that we'll complete um, that provides a basic um, short and concise summary of the readings as well as your personal um, reaction or response and connection to your service learning. Um, so read over this section. This is going to give you, um, you know, a real understanding of what to expect. And I also provided a visual um, diagram, which is a whole overview of the class. So I said weekly module. Every week you're going to read a chapter from our text. They'll also provide a PowerPoint for you. Um, there are some uh, videos that are available in My Social Lab. Um, that is an online uh, platform that we'll be using to enhance the material from the book and to enhance or uh, deepen your learning from the text. And there's some really helpful videos over there, as well as some videos that I provide in the module. You'll complete a weekly reading journal. You'll take a quiz that's available on my social lab. And then I put a little asterisk because sometimes we'll have web activities, you know, which are just um, fun and engaging activities that I found on the internet to 
um, to enhance your learning, to illustrate some of the um, points from the text or the readings or videos that we're watching. Um, there is a service learning component. So that S on SOCH1S stands for service learning. And that means that we're going to be engaging in the community um, in this particular class around the issue of food insecurity and uh, or hunger. Um, and so uh, there's more information in the syllabus on service learning as well as under the Start Here tab and in Module 1. You are going to get um, an email from the university for a survey that they want you to take. And I really encourage you um, to take the pre-survey in the first two weeks of the semester. And then you'll take the post-survey. We'll send you another email toward the end, like the last week of the semester. And it provides the university with really helpful information and feedback from students on their community engagement experience. Um, there are some service learning forms um, available on um, under the service learning tab right here and so and as well as where you can up get those you know what do you need to do with those forms and where do you upload them. Um, there's 20 hours of service and it is around the issue of uh, food insecurity and so you will be working um, or partnering at a hot meal site or a food pantry. And I do have a list of service learning sites available for you. But if you live out of town, if you're commuting or taking this class because you live in, you know, Tulare or you live in Visalia, please email me so that we can work out a placement for you. Um, if it's convenient in Fresno, if not, that one is that is that is convenient in your um, hometown. Um, 20 hours may seem like a lot when you're thinking about 20 hours as a whole, but when you really think about it and break it down over the course of about 15 or 16 weeks, and we're just talking about, you know, two or three hours of uh, service learning every week. Um, there's three exams in this class. They're not comprehensive. The exams cover um, portions of the text and videos and readings. And um, there's a link on Blackboard for those. And then we have one service learning essay um, that we'll write this semester. No final exam, just the three exams that cover the coursework. Um, here's some information on um, you know, how to communicate with me when I respond. Um, there's also a note here about um, sending your email again if you don't hear back from me. I do try to reply within 24 hours if it's Monday through Friday. If you don't hear back from me on Monday, um, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday rolls around, please resend your email because I get a lot of messages and sometimes, you know, one or two messages might fall through the cracks. And I really um, do want to you know, answer your questions and help assist you and support you in your learning. So read over that. Here's some information about um, service learning, uh, about, you know, Fresno State's commitment to engaging and serving the community. There's a link to a video and then some information about the sociological imagination. This is really a very critical um, part of this class and goal for you. I mean, you're learning this semester is to develop the sociological imagination. So read over, you know, this section here. And then when we read in chapter one and all throughout the semester, we're going to be revisiting this, um, this idea of the sociological imagination and really working to um, develop this over the course of the whole semester. So read over everything in detail under the Start Here tab. Um, and then, you know, I'll be sending out some announcements, um, you know, probably every week, um, some reminders. Faculty tab has information, um, you know, a little bit of background on me, you know, why I love teaching sociology and some other things that I'm involved with, as well as, again, some information on, you know, communicating, you and I communicating with one another. Tab for our syllabus, you can click right here on this red um, SOCH1S and you'll get redirected and our syllabus will open for you. There it is. So here's the syllabus. Take your time, please, and read over this. The syllabus is really the contract between the um, instructor and the students. And so um, everything you know, that you can expect to learn 
uh, learning outcomes. Scroll down here and see where we've got those listed. Um, must have been up here somewhere. Um, <clears throat> what you can expect, um, you know, how to take this class and what you can expect. A welcome message from me and actually I'm going to go right back up to the top. Uh, it's right here at the top. So what is the description of the course? What is the course objective? And then what are the students' learning outcomes? So, you know, by the end of um, this semester, what can you as the student expect to have learned and be able to do or apply as a result of the time that you invest in this class this semester? Information about the textbook. Um, we are using My Social Lab, and so you do need to um, get the my, uh, the textbook with the my social lab access code and the best way most convenient and easy way to do that is to do it through the Pearson um, um, website itself you can actually you know um, there's some instructions in module one and literally go through those instructions step by step and they're going to provide information on how you can um, purchase the textbook right through my social lab. If you're not able to um, purchase it through my social lab, um, then you can purchase it in the bookstore as well. Uh, but read over the syllabus, and you know, there's all the information um, that you need for um, the class, the course requirements, there's a, a reading calendar, a whole page dedicated to um, you know, providing information about service learning a grading scale that has a breakdown of all of the different assignments. You can keep track of your points over here. Um, here's the course calendar that provides information on, you know, kind of what we're doing every week. Um, this is a snapshot, but over in um, our Blackboard site, under the weekly module tab, I'm going to click on that, um, this provides a detailed description of everything that we're doing every week. So there's a little, in every one of these uh, module folders, there's going to be a little message from me. And then there's going to be a checklist of literally what you need to complete um, for that particular week to fulfill um, your, the requirements. So if we click on that, you'll see on the inside, I try to provide um, links to the videos, um, the article that you'll need to read. Here is the um, how to purchase the textbook and register for my social lab. Um, let me go back. I think I pulled it up. Nope. All right. So if you, sometimes it'll pop up right here. If it doesn't, then just click right here and then you'll get redirected. And so see here, this is literally step by step instructions on how to register for um, our class, my social lab and then um, how to um, purchase the textbook um, and then how to go back and sign in you know later on after you've already you know logged out from week to week so go by these instructions um, you know provides all the information but let me go back to that this right here is the course id for our my social lab and so that access code or that course id you're going to need when you're registering through the my social lab website so the weekly modules, um, every week you're going to see a new folder that's going to open up. It's going to have all the information that you need to complete that particular week. Um, we're doing uh, reading journals, so you click on the reading journal. Here's instructions on how to complete it. I do provide um, a reading journal video that's just dedicated to how to complete your reading journal. We're going to start those next week, um, but here's how you're going to access it. The exams will be available under the exams tab, um, you know, when they are, um, when it's time to take those. Here's the service learning tab, and it's got information on the different um, hot meal sites and food pantry locations that you can um, complete your service learning hours. Here's the service learning agreement plan, and then we can upload it here, step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete it. And then after it's complete, then you're going to um, upload it right here. And so um, you can see that under the service learning tab, just like the others, um, it's got all the information that you need when the time comes um, to complete the different components for the service learning. Um, here's the, where you'll find uh, the service learning essay. That's not until much later in the semester. 
Um, do you need some help with Blackboard? And you can click right here, and then you're going to get redirected to um, uh, see a, a page here that has all kinds of information. You, know, you got your password, um, how to um, upload assignments, how to um, check your browser if you're having some you know technical issues. Um, and then I also provided um, under the Start Here tab, also provided a link for, mm, oh, right here. If you um, want to contact um, someone from the um, Fresno State Help Desk uh, around Blackboard or email or anything, I provided information for the Help Desk, the phone number and their hours and stuff. So um, let me go back. Okay, and the very last tab um, under our Blackboard site is um, some resources that are very helpful for on-campus resources as well as community resources. So the uh, Fresno State Student Cupboard is a really wonderful resource that provides students with uh, free food, grocery items, uh, hygiene items sometimes they have, sometimes some household items. Um, and this is on campus. If you just click right here on this, uh, for this title, then you'll get redirected to their website and it'll have their um, hours of operation. Um, all you need is your student ID. You just show up, no questions asked, um, and it's a free service for all Fresno State students. Um, 201 is another really um, helpful and um, resource um, within the community. Uh, I'll just give you one example. I have a, a little list here, but let's say, you know, you're um, you know, money is kind of tight and you're struggling to pay your PG&E bill, you can contact 211 and um, literally just dial 211 from your cell phone or your um, landline um, at home and you're going to get connected with someone and they're going to help you, um, you know, figure out what resources are out there and available for you if, say, you know, I said like your PG&E um, or, you know, housing is um, kind of insecure Maybe you're looking for uh, a part-time job. So this is a community resource, but then we also have at Fresno State the um, Career Center, which is very helpful. The Fresno State Writing Center, very helpful, wonderful students that are there and committed to helping other students with any of their writing assignments. This is also a free service. Um, the Learning Center at Fresno State has help with tutoring and a variety of classes as well as workshops on um, like student success and then also they also have writing tutors there as well so later on in the semester when you're getting ready to write that um, service learning um, essay in this class you know take the assignment over to the writing center make an appointment and sit with someone and you know they'll help you at any stage of the writing process to um, help you with your um, with your writing assignments so that is an overview of our class Blackboard site. All of these tabs here have all the pertinent information to help you be successful in this class. Uh, this week we are completing, uh, you know, the first week's module. So, um, you know, access this. Um, make sure that you complete everything on the checklist here. And after you uh, read all the information under the Start Here tab, and uh, read over the course syllabus and complete module number one. If you have any questions as you go, write those down, shoot me an email, and I will do my best to reply to those emails in a very timely manner to uh, make sure I answer any questions that you have. So I'm looking forward to a wonderful semester, and I hope everyone has a great first week back.